Here's a view of the opened right and left ventricles again. Here is the right ventricle. Here is the interventricular septum. And here is the left ventricle. Blood flowing from the left atrium to the left ventricle will go through this orifice. And there are two cusps that make up a valve that prevents the blood from flowing back into the left atrium. And this is the, the bicuspid or mitral valve, also known as the left AV valve, the left atrioventricular valve. And the features of, that you see here are similar to the features we noted already in the right ventricle. So you can see the cordy tendinii, the papillary muscles, trabeculi carnii, all those features are also seen in the left ventricle. The wall of the left ventricle is much thicker and so these, many of these features, like the trabeculi carnii, are going to be more pronounced, and the papillary muscles are going to be easier to see. Here is the orifice through which blood is going to exit from the left ventricle. And you can see a valve there, which is going to be similar in design to the pulmonary semilunar valve, which is up here. So right over here, we have the aortic semilunar valve, which you can see in this model is labeled with that K. As oxygenated blood is expelled from the left ventricle and goes through the aortic semilunar valve, it's going to go up through the ascending aorta. The ascending aorta is then going to form an arch which is the arch of the aorta. And then you're going to have three vessels coming off, the brachiocephalic artery, which is right over here. And it's on the right side, but you don't, need to, you don't have to say right brachiocephalic because there's only one brachiocephalic artery in humans. And that's on the right side. And this right brachiocephalic artery is going to branch into the right common carot carotid artery and the right subclavian artery. This next artery in the middle coming off the arch is the left common carotid artery. And then this third artery coming off the arch is the left subclavian artery. And then you have the end of the arch and the beginning of the descending aorta right over here.